Here at First Build, we like to say that a prototype is worth a thousand meetings. And that's because prototypes help us succeed or fail fast when it comes to validating new ideas. Failing fast at the prototype stage is something that we like to celebrate here at First Build. Failing at the prototype stage saves us a lot of time and effort because we would rather be working on products that you care about instead of launching something into production that nobody wants. So we actually got started with Forge from a community member turned employee who was interested in creating clear ice. We did end up producing a clear ice maker, but the real beauty behind the ice experience was the heated press. So that took those clear ice gems and melted them down into a perfect looking sphere. But it didn't always turn out so perfect looking. In fact, what we started with was something just to get something into people's hands to see if it was a product that they would like. And the first thing we came up with was this. This looks horrific. It looks like a science experiment. It looks ugly. Nothing anyone would want on their counters and certainly not the beautiful piece that Forge Heated Press turned into. But this was super important. We made it here at First Build and it gave us a way to be able to test the value proposition before we actually focus any time on design. After this one, we actually 3D printed a model so that we didn't have to spend time machining or figuring out how it was going to work before we decided if the look of the Forge Eyes Press was something that people would react to well. After we 3D printed, then we moved to full machining of one. The prototypes get higher and higher fidelity as they move throughout the product journey. So at the, at the end, we have all of the feedback baked in into the final product and it turns into a product that people love. So working on Cavern and Cavern prototypes uh, definitely helped us understand the product way better. So having a working prototype really helped us understand that this product might not be the right fit for us. The testing takes a super long time, especially if you're running with um, meat inside of it. That's a two month test and we like to run fast around here. Uh, not to mention it's a little bit cost prohibitive, the technologies to make something that um, would fit into the market properly just wasn't really there for us. And uh, there's plenty of other options on the market right now that are kind of gaining popularity. So we realized that even though Cavern could be a fantastic product and we were capable of making it, it really just wasn't the right fit for first build and we're going to have to retire it. So we're really glad that we prototyped Cavern. I think the most important thing to us is that we figured this out in the prototype stage, right? I'd much rather find out that there is not a good product market fit or it's just not feasible for us in the prototyping stage than to find out when we've already sold hundreds. So in a lot of cases, failure is fun. So you're looking at the power lid, which is a way to boil water quickly. And um, it actually worked. Um, we threw about 1800 watts of extra power into a pot of water and we cut down the boiling time by nearly 50%. So what's the importance of a power lid? Does someone really want to buy something like this? It turns out maybe not. You know, you can just set two pots of water next to each other, get them boiling, use your microwave, use your tea kettle. This is feedback we got by posting this video and seeing does anybody really care. So just because you have a solution doesn't mean that anybody really wants it. That's what we found out with this prototype. This is the first prototype of the indoor smoker. Certainly not something that most people would be able to fit in their house. And that is a lot of barbecue. But what this helped us do was give tours, see if people were interested in being able to smoke inside their house. The answer was, take my money. So after Fridge Smoker came this version. What does it look like? A microwave, because it is. All we did is slap a different door on there, took it to a trade show so that we could show people what an indoor smoker could look like. Uh, the feedback that we got at that point was, yes, let me smoke indoors. Definitely don't make it look like a microwave. So we actually uh, did a project where we sent out paper versions of this unit uh, to about 12 different people. They kept the smoker in their kitchens, on their countertops, over the holidays, and let us know their feedback. Their feedback was much the same as the people who saw this version. Don't make it look like a microwave. Why don't you switch the aspect ratio and do it a little differently? With this version, we were able to see that this design really worked. So what we did was we made one out of uh, all the material back in our shop that we could actually cook in. We did cooking tests and engineering tests and development and continued to iterate the design. After this version, we decided to go through one more design iteration to make Arden more modern and sleek. And that is how we ended up with the Arden Indoor Smoker that you've come to know and love today. 
I hope you enjoyed learning about some of the prototypes we've created here at First Build. We're gonna keep making this wall even bigger as we build and invent new products. And if you submit an idea on firstbuild.com, we might even prototype your idea. So thanks for watching, see you next time.